All right, so this week I'm gonna show you how I wired up my plug on my new 60 gallon Husky air compressor, along with what you need to do in order to give it the break in cycle as well. So right now you can see I don't have any connections to it quite yet. Those are still on order and should be here this weekend. But once those get finished up, I'll update you with the finished product of this. But for now, we'll at least get it wired up get it broken in so that when we get the other parts it's ready to roll. Well, that sucked. All right, so we got this bear of an air compressor in here. And now I need to take this cap off so I can wire in a plug. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. Not too complicated or confusing, but just a three prong 240 volt plug that I can then use to plug this in. So let's get to it. All right, so everything I found on this so far, um, if we do need to adjust the pressure of this tank or the shutoff pressure, so to speak, we will need to take the, a little tough to see, but the rubber cement or glue gun glue that's on here, and we can adjust that, but we'll see what pressure we get up to once I get this plugged in and running. But you can see we have a ground going to this case it might be a little tough to see, so I'll zoom in here. But we have the ground from the motor. This motor here. Going to this screw here. The ground for my plug will go to this ground screw here. And I'm just going to match the hot and neutral black and white wires here in line with line 1 and line 2. And that will give me what I need for this plug. So... The only other thing is on the back side here is a crimp for a plug. Now the wire or the plug that I'm using came off of an old welder that I was that was getting scrapped that I found in a dumpster. So it might be a little big to fit in here, but we'll make it work. So let's see how this goes. All right, so you can see here this cable for a 240 welder is much larger than the one we have here, but we're gonna make it work because this is what I got. Like I said, good dumpster dive for me. So I think what I'm gonna do to make this work is take a bunch of electrical tape, tape this bottom portion of it up here, and then we will secure the wires in with this on the back side doing it that way because I just it's not gonna work with how big this is I don't think because yeah you can see there with that clip it barely holds on to that but I'm still gonna try to make it work with the outer insulator on here but if it doesn't that's my fallback plan so let me get some connections on here so we can connect them where they need to go on there and we'll be right back
All right, so we got everything wired in and now we need to do the breaking in the pump procedure. So for this, we got to make sure it's off, which it is. Oil level of pump looks good. Check all wiring, wiring's good. Open the drain valve on the bottom. I'll need to do that. And we wanna run the air compressor for 20 minutes. Make sure the drain valve and all air lines are open so there is only a minimal air pressure buildup. Check all air lines, fittings, and connections, piping for air leaks. Check for excessive vibration, readjusting slims. After 20 minutes, close drain valve. The air compressor will fill to cutoff pressure. The motor will stop, and then it's ready to go. So let's open that drain valve and get to it. So we just finished the break-in period for this. Um, the top of this is definitely warm, so I know I'm gonna have issues with water in my air if I just let this thing run wide open like it is right now. So right now you can see I don't have any fittings on here yet. Those are in the mail. They should be here later this week, hopefully Saturday or Sunday, but I got the initial break-in period done and everything's running fine. It's running smooth. There's no issue, so I'm pretty happy with it. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. But this was the getting set up and running, the Husky 60 gallon single stage air compressor. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.